Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on how to find a vertex. Let's get started. Basically, this question asking you to complete square, as unpleasant as it sounds. It doesn't have to be hard. So here's what we're going to do. Let's copy this one first. Okay. We're going to pull the coefficient out of the first two terms. Okay, you'll see why. x squared is left inside for the first term, and then it's minus 10x. Okay, so the way you check it is you're going to multiply this out, you should get the first term. When you multiply those two out, you should get a positive 5. Okay, we're going to leave the minus 1 over here. And then, this is the where the magical step happens. x squared minus 10x, I'm going to add a number, subtract the same number off, so I don't change anything. So from step two to step three, all I did is left a box. The reason I want to leave boxes, I want to regroup the first three. But I have to have this box because otherwise I've changed what I started in step two. And this magic number goes in there, should be half of whatever the coefficient in front of x is, minus 10. And I'm going to square this. Okay, so this one happened to be uh, 25. And then I have minus half, now factor of the first three, I have a perfect square, minus 5 square. And then I have minus 25, minus 1. Now, this is the step where a lot of students say, well, well I'm just going to combine those two. No, you can't, because the multiplication supersedes the minus and adding and subtraction. So you have to take the take care of the minus half in front of it first. The way we're going to take care of it is don't open this up. Okay, treat this one as a whole box. Then you have minus half times x minus 5 squared. Then minus half times second block becomes positive 25 over 2 minus 1. Okay, now we can combine this one. Minus half times x minus 5 squared plus this one is 23 over 2. Okay, this is the vertex form. The way we read the vertex form is we're going to set this one equal to 0. That gives x equal to 5. So vertex is the point. So x equal to 5. And then we're going to take this number as it is. y is equal to 23 over 2. So my vertex has a coordinate of x equal to 5. y is 23 over 2. That's the answer. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join this channel for more updates. Together, we can conquer math. Till next time, have a confident day.